Hey guys, I'm going to do a relationship spread between Trump and Putin. I'm going to use my Revival Art deck, and this deck actually came from Russia. So let's see what the relationship between Putin and Trump is. Let's see what the cards will tell me about the relationship between Trump and Putin. So this first card will be Trump, and then this is Putin over here. Let's see if we can fit them all on here. This is past, present, future right here. And then this is the advice card up here at the top. So let's see what we get. So this is the true Trump here. And we have the Queen of Swords or Trump. Now, the Queen, Queen of Swords is usually about um, truth, speaking the truth, not taking any um, baloney from the other person. But it's also a supportive energy, more of a supportive type energy. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. And this is Putin. Is a three of swords heartbroken? Hmm. A painful truth. It's looking like, um, it's looking like possibly there may have been some sort of a, this is also either the betrayed or it speaks of a betrayal. So I feel like Trump may have actually betrayed Putin in some way, which is interesting. We'll have to keep going and see what that's about. So this is how Putin sees Trump, the Empress. So he sees Trump as abundance and new beginnings, a source of abundance and new beginnings. That's interesting. So, so far, it looks like Putin is the weak one and Trump has the upper hand here. Let's see. And then this is how Putin, how Trump sees Putin. The Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. That's about sudden change. It's about cycles. It's about changes. I, I do feel like there's some sort of a change in their relationship. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see by, by these cards maybe more what that is. This card is the past. The relationship past. King of Wands. So in the past, this is a this is a very um, strong leadership card. It's also the card of the entrepreneur. They may have they may have had some kind of a connection based on their leadership roles in the past. And then presently. The devil. So there's something. Um, this is a 
connection that is an unhealthy connection, a dependent relationship, a co- a codependent relationship. So they're co- they're codependent on each other in some way. There's been, I feel like, yeah, there's been some sort of betrayal on Trump's part towards Putin. Like they had an agreement and then Trump didn't hold up his end of it. Um, future. Four of Swords. A truce. A withdrawal. This is also the card of Peace and Harmony. That looks like some sort of nothing going on between them anymore at the moment in the future. And then this is the card of how to proceed. This is the advice card. This would be advice for Trump. Queen of Coins. The independent wealthy person. He doesn't need anybody else. So I feel like something has happened where there has actually been some sort of a, where Trump has betrayed Putin, has decided he doesn't need him anymore. And, or he's, or either that or Trump has gotten what he wanted out of Putin. And in this reading, I'm seeing Trump as being the one with the upper hand. Currently, there is some, still some sort of unhealthy connection, but I feel like that's going to be broken in the future. Thanks, guys.